This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Sims versus Williams. You all have been together four years, and Mr. Sims, you believe Miss Williams is cheating on you, and you have brought her to court because of this. Tell us about your case. Your Honor, I started a new job eight months ago, and I work on the weekends. Okay. So on the weekends, I'm gone for like 12 hours at night, and she's there by herself. So she's been missing an action, going off on trips by herself, encrypted messages on her phone that you need NASA to encrypt for you. It's just, <laughs> it's just all kinds of things, Your Honor. I'm just here now today for some clarity in this. Oh, wow. Well, Ms. Okay. Williams, it sounds like this has been a crazy eight it months. It is. You know, it is. what are you here to show today? That I love this man, and he's tripping, and he's crazy. <laughs> All right. She loves him. He's tripping. tripping and, and he's crazy. crazy. All right. Maybe I mean, there's a combination. In, in that order. In that order. In that order. She, okay, well, Love she started out with loving. Yeah. Okay. She didn't start out with crazy, so that helped. That helped. All right. And I'm not that's cheating. A, that's the bottom line. Absolutely. But you, she's standing there real confident. I do. Yeah? So you like, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Nothing. You like, let's do this. Yes. But uh-huh. you know, the ones that are real confident, sometimes those are the ones that make me nervous. That, uh, yeah, because yeah, we've seen some confidence and it just yeah. crumbled. I mean, down to the very <laughs> end, standing yeah. their ground. Yeah. So, we'll see. We'll see. He I needs, hope you're right. He needs to take a chill pill. Ooh. <laughs> All right. So, I know, based on what, you, what you've been talking about, that it hadn't always been like that, because you said it's been the last eight months. Yes, Your Honor. So, tell me how you two met. Your Honor, we met at a barbecue at a family member's house. I seen Michelle from across the room. I love big women, Your Honor. I love big women, so... Right, and you cannot, and you cannot so lie. I cannot lie. That's right. I can attest to that. Oh, my God. So, Your Honor, I see her. You know, I walk up on her, I slide in her DM. Like, hey. Like, hey, honey, how you doing? Introduce myself, and we exchange phone numbers. So, we exchange phone numbers. We talk for a while, and, you know, I finally decided to make that move. So, she was like, hey, you know, you can't stay with family too long. We just make this thing right. So I was like, okay, not a problem. And we've been together ever since. All right, Miss Williams, he's smiling as he's talking about you, sliding into your DM. Yes. What is it that made you say, hey, let me give his brother a chance? One of these times, I was having a bad day at work. And I got home, and he's like, what's wrong, babe? And I was just like, it was a bad day, you know? Uh, so I looked down, and he had a bouquet of roses. He had this Pandora Aww. bracelet right here, and uh, this ankle bracelet, and a cat. <laughs> a cat? A he cat. got the cat. The Leo the cat. <laughs> All right, did you want a cat? I did. Okay, no, I didn't think the cat was coming that fast. <laughs> That's a bad move. Yeah. yeah. Here, it's like, I, I didn't think the cat was coming that fast, but he's so cute. I love my cat. Nothing says love like giving a woman a cat, right? <laughs> <laughs> agree with that. Now, let me tell you what speaks to my heart. You're going with the jury. I know where you're going. <laughs> I know where you're going. A diamond really is a girl's best friend. That's uh-huh. okay, huh? So, we got these beautiful things. You all in love. How do we get here? Your Honor, Why really... do you think she's cheating right now? For one, Your Honor, no sex. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, no sex. No. No. What okay, do you mean, I'm gonna say, no, no sex? I'm gonna say no sex, minimal sex. Okay. <laughs> it, it's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a big difference <laughs> between zero and a little bit. Look, when it gets down to a certain level, you know, zero, minimal level, it, it gets to be about it's... the same thing. No. Your Honor, yeah. Your Honor yeah. it's, it's like... I, I, I'm, it... I'm, I'm feeling you. I know what you... Go ahead. <laughs> Not from first experience. I'm saying I understand. <laughs> you know, it gets to be a certain level, and it's, you know... <laughs> I understand what you're saying. Uh-huh. You got so splendid yeah. to do yeah. afterwards. Yeah. Okay. The what did it used sex, to be like? We was like bunnies, Your Honor. <laughs> like bunnies. Like bunnies. If she walked by me, I'm a jumper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. And, she, and she was liking that, wasn't she? <laughs> yes, she was. The, I, I like it, too. So you think because it's dropped so much, somebody must be doing this thing? Because it's not given to me. <laughs> All right, Miss Williams, has it dropped that much? It has. Are you having sex with somebody else I to am feel not. in? Let me tell you, this man needs it seven days a week, seven times a day. Oh. I am 280 pounds. I don't have time to have my legs up there for 20 minutes. <laughs> you get these five minutes and let's go on about our business now. <laughs> Period. <laughs> Okay. Well, you see, that's that's a co- <laughs> wait, Miss Williams, I got to tell you, that's not the complaint we usually have in here. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I mean, it... So, you got a man who's interested in loving I you, do. and you just like, yeah, I don't feel like that. Really? That's, that's where we're going Let with me this? Let tell you, seven times a day? 
20 like, minutes. Like, I can that's get you. That's an exaggeration, Your Honor. That's seven times a day, Your Honor. I can get you two. I can get you two. All right. Maybe even three. Maybe. Three, three. Can we get four? But I'm talking... Can, can no. we get the four? No. <laughs> can we get the four? No, 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 no. Four. Four. I hear four. I hear four. Can I do it? Do I have five? No. That's an exaggeration, Your Honor. No. Okay. That was a straight exaggeration. You know, five minutes like I told you. Okay? These legs is heavy. He, he, but he don't... So he doesn't mind. He hold them. I gotta hold them with him. Oh, I'm <laughs> Wow. All right, so what other reasons do you believe she's cheating? The phone, Your Honor. She got encrypted messages on her phone. You need NASA to encrypt oh these messages God. on her phone. What do you okay. mean encrypted? <laughs> Can I show you, Your Honor, what I'm talking about? Yes, sure, yeah. You have an exhibit. Step I to the a... monitor. Encrypted <laughs> messages on the phone, okay? Yeah, I'm yes, anxious Your Honor. to see this. Now, Your Honor, this is a typical person's phone contacts in there. You see April, you probably have your mother or somebody, your father or one of your friends, a co-worker or something like that in your From... phone. Okay. okay. Now, can I show you what Michelle's phone looks like? Absolutely. <laughs> now, you tell me, Your Honor. I, I want... You tell me who is that. Really? Who's BR4? <laughs> Ask her who's BR4. <laughs> Ask her right now. Who's say, hey, who's <laughs> BR4? I, you know, I'm really more interested in the MFHR3. I am too, Your Honor. <laughs> That sounds uh, like a chemist uh, a formula, equation or formula that, that a, you need that a NASA to encrypt it. I mean, you can't see that. You, so, well, okay, I'll pick up her phone and I'm supposed to play, hey, HS17, you know my woman? Yeah, hey. It, it was like... You know, this man is crazy. And my phone <laughs> is not locked. You're okay, saying you don't have not, your... Not, not at all. This is not in my contacts. So you can't tell me who MFHR3 is? I don't know, is. and you don't know either. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> you didn't come up with these contacts after he started working eight no. months ago. No, ma'am. All right, but you're saying, this is not me. This is not me at all. But <laughs> if it was you, you could see how he'd be concerned I about it. I definitely that. understand. But, you know, bring the correct information. This, I don't know where this comes from. Your Honor, this all is right. the correct information. Oh, my Trust goodness. Trust me. All right, Mr. Sims, come back <laughs> to your podium. That's a reason there. You, the phone's <laughs> encrypted. Oh. Mm-hmm. You got the no sex. Surely there's nothing else. Oh, yeah, something else. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a lot of something else. Jesus. A All right. lot of something else. Okay. Tell us about it. My birthday was a couple months ago. Okay. And so we had planned a trip a few months before that. We were going to go to Vegas. Mm. Oh. So, you know, she... No problem. Vegas for our, my birthday. Cool, let's do it. So, you know, as the trip got closer, it's like maybe a week. As the week came across, it's like, well, honey, do you really want to go to Vegas? Yeah, I do. I want to go. Okay. So it was just like a week before, she's still asking me, like, she's grilling me, like, do you really want to go? So I'm like, yeah. So eventually, she was like, okay, nah, we don't have to go. You know, let's not go. Forget about it. So, you know, as the, the trip comes, this is the day of. I'm laying in the bed, and I, I'm look, I wake up, and it's a bag by the door. And I'm like, well... Who bag is that? <laughs> you know? She's like, it's mine. Where are you going? I'm going to Vegas with my friend. Oh. All right, Miss Williams. <laughs> yeah. I know the saying is what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, but not in couples court. So what happened? <laughs> 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 Nothing happened. I really went with my girlfriends to gamble, and it was a nice time. Okay, but why are you playing like because you Because I don't want to argue. We've been arguing for months about this accusation of me cheating. So it's kind of like a buzzkill. You know, the energy's bad. So I don't want to go all the way. Vegas is fun. You go to hang out. You go to gamble. You go to do these things. I don't need him saying, oh, you're looking at him. You're giving him the Google eyes. I'm trying to go... And yes, it was for his birthday, but if this is how you acted a month prior to, why go? <laughs> wow. Wow, okay. This is rough. Yeah, it, it, it is rough. <laughs> it's coming I... into focus now. <laughs> well, you know, Mr. Cutler, we wanted to bring a friend of the court in who's been in a long-term relationship, who's had some experiences. Mm -hmm. And so we invited our friend, Dr. Heavenly Kine, star of the reality show Married to Medicine, and she's a certified relationship coach. Ron, would you escort Dr. Kine? It's Dr. Heavenly <laughs> Hello. Good day. How are you? How are you? How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? It's good. good. Very Thank good you to for see coming. you. No problem. Thank y'all for having me. 
All right. <laughs> Go ahead, love. As you listen to what's been going on in their relationship, what do you think would be a key for them to improve their relationship and get back on the right track? I think that uh, he probably needs to spend more time with her. She seems very straightforward to me. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't... Wait. Honestly, if you didn't ask Real, me, real straight. But I don't think she's the lying type. She doesn't look like she's the liar. So I think that maybe... This is my assessment. Maybe he has cheated. And a lot of times, people think you are the way that they are. Yes. You know what Reach I mean? It, so doctor. you're saying that Come on. she's cheating, but... Come on, now. We as women don't yeah. leave that many clues. Come on, now. Y'all know that, right? Right, I mean, right. she's Come a on, smart now. lady. If she was cheating, she wouldn't leave all these Absolutely. clues. So... Hmm. Come on, Dr. Heaven. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Why don't, you tell, why don't you tell the court about your cheating ways and how I took you back? Come on, now, oh. man. I didn't mean to stop. My cheating ways. Come All on, right, man. so Mrs. Sims, has yeah. there been a little history yeah. in the past for Come you? On. I had a past. I'm not going to say I was a saint. Now, <laughs> and you have gone ahead and, and somehow been able to rebuild your trust Absolutely. in him. Absolutely. So, not 100%. But, Your Honor, ask him how long there. ago it was. It doesn't matter. Well, it, it doesn't so, matter. But it's in the past. It's, it's done. It's in, in the, the past. past. But it right happens. now, his concern is these clues that he's finding all add up to her cheating. No. And that's what he's concerned about. No. And so, can you tell Mr. Sims what he can do about his fears of infidelity with respect to Miss Williams? I think that you should commit to her. I think she's straightforward. I think she's a beautiful woman. I think that she's probably not having sex with you because you're not making her feel like she wants to have sex. The holding the legs up, come on now, girl, you could turn over or do something. You know, that's, <laughs> not, that's not it. So... <laughs> It's something he's not doing to make her want to have sex. I'm right. <laughs> All right, know. Mr. Cutler, I think we've heard enough. Well, from what I've seen in the evidence, it looks like we've got allegations of a marked decrease in sex. Uh, he's found encrypted contact in her phone, and then she went to Vegas without him, just <laughs> left him high and dry after she said they weren't going. Right. Mm. So, and all of this has led him to believe that she's cheating. At this time, the court would like to let you know we have done a full and complete investigation of this matter. Well, and at see. this time, we would like to call certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams to determine is she cheating? <laughs> well, please, Mr. Williams. Mm. Mm. Could you share briefly your credentials with the court? I am a certified polygraph examiner. I'm a former federal agent, and I've been doing polygraph examinations for the last 15 years. All right, so this is not your first time. Not my first rodeo. All right. <laughs> so you asked Miss Williams, the weekend you left Mr. Sims to go to Las Vegas without him, did you have physical sexual contact with another man? What was her answer? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Okay. I'll take that one. <clears throat> you asked Ms. Williams, have you had physical sexual contact with anyone other than Mr. Sims since you got back together in June of 2015? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? It was determined on this question that Miss Williams was being deceptive. Well, well. All right, Miss Williams. Any, I don't believe any of that. All right. So you deny that you've had physical sexual contact since you all got back Absolutely. together? Absolutely. There's nobody you shared a passionate kiss Not at of. All. Nothing. Not at all. Okay. You also asked Miss Williams, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Mr. Sims since you got back together June of 2015? What was her response? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? My assessment on this question was Miss Williams was being truthful. So how do y'all get two truths and a lie? So we have some answers, and there's no one, no place, Not no at time. All. Not at all. Well, Mr. Sims, you came here for the truth. You came yeah. here for answers. You have gotten them. 
So the question is, what do you want to do with your relationship? Your Honor, right now is just a lot to process right now. We understand. I mean, I don't know where to go from now. I mean, this woman has been my world for four years. So, I mean, what can I do? You know, I just gotta figure something out now. I don't know. Well, let me give you some advice. The testimony was she forgave you in the past. So, if that's true, then you can forgive her. You all are dating. You've been together for two years, and I understand that you all work together in the tattoo industry. Now, I've heard of people getting tattoos removed, but we might have a tattoo artist being removed from this relationship, depending on what happens here today. Is that right, Ms. Miller? That's correct, Your Honor. Right. You've opened this case. Tell us why. I'm here today to prove that Evan is cheating on me. I'm not crazy. He thinks I'm crazy, and I feel like he's using... Very. The... No, I'm not. He's using the tattoo shop to run the streets and get worked on and twerked on. Yes, oh. twerked on. Yes. Oh. You're worked on and twerked, and twerked on. on. Yes. And yes. that's not Most usually definitely. part of the tattoo experience, the twerking piece. Well, maybe a few years ago, but nowadays it's groupies everywhere. Oh. Alcohol. It's a blood party. Music. It's a party all day, every day. Okay. And you're not having it. I'm not having it. I'm too good of a woman. I'm not having it. Not today, not tomorrow, not... Uh-uh. Mr. Brown, are you twerking instead of working? Not at all, Your Honor. Okay. The only thing I do, I go to work, I go home. Half of the time, she's even there at the tattoo shop. So I really don't understand what she's coming up with all these different scenarios that because she's there, not there, what, like maybe once, two days out the week? It used to be like that, Because of now. this right here. Don't nobody want to deal with that. For what? Well, Mr. Time. Brown, I mean, it's my understanding, you know, tattoo parlors have now become, you know, kind of a new hangout place. You know, mm -hmm. people are hanging out. It's, it's an experience. You just don't go in, get a tattoo, and leave. It's a place to be. Yeah. Well, it might be at some tattoo shops a place to be, but for us, it's a place of business. Mm -hmm. So that's the only thing that I'm trying to do when I'm there. Okay, because she's saying she's not there three or four days a week, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, recently, yeah. And you're saying the reason she's not there is because you don't want to be bothered with all yeah, that. Yeah, it's the attitude. It's the always hovering over my shoulder, doing this, doing that, asking questions. And plus, it gets on my client's nerve. I can't handle because it. Because they want you. All you got is little groupies, little hoochie mamas running around what everywhere. You, mean? you a model who doesn't want you. I, I'm a model. I stay classy. I, I, that don't mean, oh, I want a tattoo right here. Let me let me undress. Or I want one right here, but I came in and scheduled so one for right here. So I can explain all your tattoos then. But, Ms. Miller, I mean, when exactly. somebody gets a tattoo, you've got to have some skin exposed, right? Correct. And you come in for one tattoo, and then he can talk them into maybe getting two or three. That's more money. That's, that's, that's my the... job. That's what I try to do is get oh. him, I talk them into getting more money. When the girls come in, all they want to do is flirt and undress so and have So do them your job. Something. Talk them into getting more money, but don't be all extra with it. So what were the things that made you go, mm-mm, something's amiss here? The last six months, he's not answering his phone. He's not answering his FaceTime. He's not coming home within a timely manner. He's just all over the place. I object. Come on. And the affection is gone. He's not holding me at nighttime. Uh, the amount of sex is going down. And you believe it's because he's now showing his attention to all these other women? Yes, he's entertaining the groupies. Do you agree that these things have changed? No. Sometimes I don't get home till 6 o'clock in the morning. She didn't have been there with me before plenty of times. She know how this lifestyle is. It be times where sometimes I won't hold her because I'm so tired, I'm exhausted. But when I do and when I can, I surprise her with flowers. I take her out to eat. I rub her feet. What more do you want? And like you said, the, the tattoo part, I mean, mm -hmm. you got to cater to your, your customers. You do, and it's, it's a, a long process. It's a lot of late night. Exactly. Then when I get home, I'm tired. I've been slumping over all day. You know what I'm saying? She follow me. She stalk me. Follow Hold on. Me. Tell, he's saying you're following stalking. Tell me about yes, that. Yes, Your Honor, I have because he decided to leave one day and I just felt like something was off. So I got in the car and I followed him. Yeah, I followed him for about like 30 minutes and I didn't think he knew that I was behind him. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Do you know how hard it is to follow somebody for 30 minutes? That means you don't get stopped at any lights, you don't get cut off in traffic anywhere, and the person doesn't see you because, I mean, he knows what kind of car she drives. That's what I'm like. How did so, she think so he she was in her minutes. car? She was in the neighbor's car. car. I, I borrowed the neighbor's car. Oh. oh. She took it to a whole nother level. Facts. Oh. 
He made two stops. I followed him. He got something to eat. I followed mm -hmm. him. And what else? He stopped and got some money. I followed him. Uh -huh. And I got busted when he um, when he was almost to his job. Like he went to turn off, and I'm like, "There's a motel right there." I said, "Oh no, he ain't." Let me fix and see who we going to this motel with. He busted the corner. And what happened? And he was already out the car waiting on me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, it gets so better. So you saw no, her all that time better. she was following no, you? No, it's just... Just wait one second. Why, why was you following? When you followed me and you got to where I was, what did I have in the car? My Christmas gift. Oh. Busted. Oh. On you. Yes. And you would think that after she followed you and she caught up with you and you hadn't been doing anything and you had her Christmas gift in the car, that that should have been the end of it. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't. Nah. <laughs> Ms. Miller, have you found anything that makes you think he's cheating? Yes, I have, Your Honor. Uh, one day, I had came to the tattoo shop. The night before, he said he had a, a private session with a male. Uh-huh. So I came to the tattoo shop. He left late. So I always come clean, sanitize everything. I'm real OCD. So I'm cleaning, and while I'm cleaning, a coworker of ours had came in. He was like, um, did you see that bad tattoo model that he, uh, that Evan had tattooed on last night? I'm confused. Like, I heard he was tattooing a male. Not no, not no female. He canceled. So, yeah, he canceled. So I'm cleaning the station and everything, and when I lean over the counter or over the table to look, Guess what I found? I don't know. Uh, oh. Some oh. itty bitty, no having ass panties, Your Honor. Look at these. Oh, That's Do what you found? Does this look like this will fit all this, Your Honor? Like, can look I show you? Please? Yeah, yeah. What you okay. Talking about? It's gonna fit my calf. What we got here? Your Honor. Oh. Those panties right there will fit somebody with this frame type. You see this? Yes. No booty. Okay. You see all that? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. They call me Super and Super for a reason. Uh, you know, hey. Wait, they call <laughs> you Super? <laughs> no, 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 no. Super, super what? Super bottoms. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> well. They do have some elastic in them. Is no, that right? They they, do? No. No. No, no that's uh, not uh, a real thing. This? <laughs> this is what? A size 20 hip? You mean to tell me that you can't fit these? Absolutely they not. They can't stretch? No. No. My calf, Your Honor. Your Honor, not. come on, Young. Look, look at that. I that's that's know. enough. Well, that's... Let, let me just say this. <laughs> it, it, even if she could get them on, they oh would not God. be comfortable. That would hurt, Your that Honor. That would be a very uncomfortable we fit. We don't know that. It might. Take it from me. The take take your word for it. <laughs> that would not be a happy thing. Okay. But here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Those aren't hers because she found them in the shop behind or under the table, well, right? She's the only exactly. person I did so in my studio. What, what, what? Well, that's what we want to know. Who else? Exactly. I want to know, too. So, have you done anything else to figure out whether Mr. Brown is cheating? Has anything else happened? Uh, yes. My friend, one of my models that I manage, um, she recently got a private tattoo session with him. After telling him two weeks prior to this at the bar, she ain't got no panties on. I ain't got what? nothing to do with that. Yes. She told Mr. Brown she didn't have any panties Correct. on. Correct. Why would she tell him that? Because she want him or he want her. Okay, but why would this woman feel so comfortable with you to tell you, you know, I don't have any panties on? How she do it, Mr. Cup? <laughs> I don't have any panties on. You know, with that look, with that voice, was that how it was? I guess okay. you could say but that. why would she feel so comfortable with you to be able to, to say that look, to you? I don't know because I'd be around them as far as they photo shoot, going out promoting or whatever. I, I'm not too sure. So I gotta ask, has anything else occurred that you're aware of? Yes, Your Honor. He ended up doing a private tattoo session with her at her house. No. Yes. That's and correct. that is not, that's not how we play stuff. If my models want a tattoo from him, they schedule through me. And did Mr. Brown tell you that he was going to tattoo her? Not until after the fact when he was there, I was blowing up his phone. And then he turns the phone on silent or do not disturb, both of them. You know, we've heard your side, we've heard your side. We want to hear from the girl with no panties on. And she is here today. Ron, would you please escort her in?
Oh, my God. Good day, ma'am. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing, Your Honor? Doing good, thank you. Would you please state your name for the record? I'm Taylor Hendricks. All right. Known as Ariel, one of the models. All right. Well, she does look like the right size for those underwear that we were thank holding you, up. Your Honor. We have questions for you. I, I do have one question. Yes, ma'am. You do you have on underwear now? No, ma'am. Oh. All right, Mr. Cutler, we're gonna do this interview a little differently. I'm gonna move what? you over here. <laughs> Come on. You're making me move. I'm making you move. <laughs> You'll thank me later. Yeah, it's a trap, Your Honor. What is your relationship with Miss Miller and Mr. Brown? Well, Miss Miller is one of my best friends. We are like sisters. She took me under her wing two, about two years ago, almost three years ago. And, you know, she's like a sister to me. And I've known him as long as he's been with her. Do you have any other kind of relationship with Mr. Brown? No, Your Honor, I do not. I don't look at him that way. I look at him as like a brother. He's with my sister, my best friend. All right. I respect for her, him, and myself. You don't have respect for him when you went and got your tattoo. Mm. Okay, you call so... call me. Hold on, Miss Miller. Yeah, so I if you think of him like a brother, why did you tell him when you all were at this party that you didn't have on any panties? My apologies, Your Honor. I was drunk, a little too drunk. And I was just goofing around. I don't ever mean anything serious by it. I've told her before. I've joked around with her before like that. Yeah, that's different with your girl. Thank that's you. That's a different conversation. Thank you. Thank you. So, here's the thing. Is it your understanding that if you're going to have a tattoo done by Mr. Brown, that you schedule it through Miss Miller? Yes, I normally do. But I've known him for, for a while now. I didn't think anything of it at first, because we were always hanging around here, always, you know? Yeah, I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Uh, did you all have any other inappropriate action other than tattooing? No, Your Honor. Was there anything sexual going on? No, Your Honor. All right. What's going through your mind right now? To be guilt. honest, guilt? What guilt? Hey, there's Super, no there's another reason why they call you Super. It's not because your booty. Super insecurity. Okay. You know what? Keep on talking. Keep on talking. Mm. Keep on talking. Ms. Miller, yes. what will happen if you find out Mr. Brown is, in fact, cheating? If he's cheating, I'm packing up his stuff and he's leaving. You know, we're gonna figure all this out because this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call a certified polygraph examiner, Michael Williams, to determine, is he cheating? <laughs> Ron, please report Mr. Williams. Good day, Mr. Williams. How are you? Good day. How are you, Your Honor? Doing good, thank you. Now, you conducted a polygraph examination on Mr. Brown, is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Let's take a look at what you asked him. You asked Mr. Brown, were the panties Ms. Miller found in your tattoo suite from someone whom you had sexual intercourse with? What was his response to that question? Your Honor, he said no. What did the lie detector determine? On this question, the lie detector determined he was being deceptive. See? One more question. You asked Mr. Brown, have you had sexual intercourse with Ms. Hendricks? What was his response? Your Honor, he said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined he was being deceptive. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Y'all cra y'all crazy. Y'all got me messed up. The lie detectors come back. Have you had sex with him? No, Your Honor. Have you had any kind of sexual contact with him? No, Your Honor. That's your story? You stick it to yes, it? Yes, Your Honor. Tell Miss Miller what happened <laughs> and who you been with. Mm. I was with one of my clients. Just one? Just one. Well, what about Miss Hendricks? Were you with her? Definitely not. <laughs> nah. Look, I trust yeah. I trust, I trust my work okay. over here. How dare you? And then I'm tripping. I'm crazy. I'm the crazy one. You still are. Mr. Brown? No, you are. What happened with your client? Is it the one who left her underwear? Yes, Your Honor. We're done. We are, we're done. Yeah. And, and, you and, making me think I'm paranoid. I'm anxious every day because of what you put me through. And you the one messing around. That's not cool. That's messed up. That's true. 